Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, Sophia, and my dog Malik. In today's video, I'll be talking about three mistakes I made with my puppy. So you don't have to do the same mistake as I did. If you hear someone, it's as usual, Malik eating on his bone next to me. Malik, can you show your bone? One of the first mistakes I made with Malik was nail clipping. And I am paying for that mistake still. So when he was a puppy, we cut his nail with a regular nail clipper and we usually did it when he was quite tired or even sleeping. It was so convenient because as a puppy he was sleeping so deep and he was not even bothered by us clipping during sleeping. As an older dog or like as an almost adult dog, he only sleeps really really deep at night. Which means that as soon as we cut one nail, he wakes up and he doesn't want to do it anymore. And he goes somewhere else to sleep and he has like one eye open to see if we're gonna clip the nail. This means that nail clipping has become such a project. We have tried with chicken to lure him and like make him lay down while we do it. That doesn't work because he stands up immediately. I have started with these machines that files down the nails and we're working to desensitize him to that and hopefully that will be a better option but please get your puppy used to clipping their nails early on because we took the easy route as a puppy and we're now paying the price for that and holy moly it is a project every second week when we try to cut them project 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 I don't wish that on anyone. He's okay with me touching his paws and everything. It's the clipper itself that he is just, it's his nemesis. The second mistake I did that I regret to this day is leash walking. There was too many times where I were sloppy. Like I were in a hurry, so I just let some things go. Uh, I got frustrated, so I just like stopped. Like there has been so many times where I could have kept going with the training, but I were too lazy to do so, or felt too rushed to do so, or got too frustrated to do so. Which means that now, he walks nice on a leash when he's tired, but the journey there, like when we start our walk, is catastrophic. It, it is uh, trying to contain a hurricane. <laughs> like, it is like trying to contain a dragon. It's like trying to hold back a force of nature. And I wish I would have stuck to leash training way more. I wish I would have stayed consistent. That's what I'm trying to say. Because my lack of consistency, that means he has an advantage. Because he knows like if he is rowdy enough, I get frustrated and I will just give up because that's what I've done too many times. So he has learned that he doesn't have to walk nicely on the leash because mom will give up. I wish I would have been way more structured in my leash walking training. So don't make that mistake. Like I know it's so frustrating. I know sometimes you're in a hurry, all of those things, but if you have a bigger dog like I do, you have to stay consistent. Because the easy walk has definitely like saved us a lot of frustration and anger. And it has helped us to take up training in leash walking. So he is better now. Uh, but stay consistent with that. Don't make the mistake I made. And also when you have a big dog, dragging around a big dog or having a big dog dragging you around is embarrassing like it looks bad 
it feels bad you feel ashamed you feel frustrated you like it's it's just not a fun experience a huge mistake I made was to let him roam the apartment way too much I let him basically have free range of the rooms for the first two three weeks because I felt bad containing him in his puppy pen I should have felt less guilty of putting him there like I was such a soft heart like my heart was just melting for him all the time so I always felt like I was a horrible human being for putting him in there and you're not a terrible human being for putting your dog in a puppy pen it's actually good for them to have a like place to rest and it's good for you to get some time off to do laundry to cook some food to work whatever it is actually such a blessing to have a puppy pen like when he was too big and too strong to be in there i thought he was big enough or old enough to roam the apartment a six month old puppy is not old enough to roam free because a six month old puppy still haven't learned boundaries they are still testing they're getting in they're coming into their teenage phase they are testing everything they're testing you they're testing boundaries they're testing what they're allowed to do they're not old enough to roam freely so what i'm saying is after they grow out of the puppy pen still restrict their areas like when we two months later about him being eight months or something got the baby gates we were like oh it can be this easy to have a dog we don't have to keep track of him all the time and i just wish i had set more boundaries he is currently learning those boundaries and he's getting so much better each day with his boundaries and he's getting easier and easier but i wish i would have set those boundaries from the beginning but i was too soft i was my heart was too big and i felt too bad and he was so cute and i was like i will teach him that when he's older <laughs> teach him that when he's older yeah that's that's funny because now you have a dog that's already like have certain ways of doing things and you have to kind of be even more consistent like as soon as they're potty trained make a routine stick to it and you will have a much easier dog life and i wish i would have done that like he's so much calmer now because he knows what's expected of him and that makes our life so much happier together and we have a better time together so you're not setting up boundaries to be mean or to be harsh on your dog you're setting it up for them to feel more content and happier so don't be afraid of routines and boundaries because your dog actually craves that and wants that from you they want you to tell them like what can i do when should i do it please mom tell me so that's the three mistakes i made when i got my puppy that i wish i didn't please let me know in the comments below the biggest mistake you made when you got your puppy i think we can all learn from each other and i also think it is a comfort to know that other people also make mistakes and none of us are perfect dog parents and we learn as we go and we do the best we can also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let me know what kind of content you would like to see in the future so until next time take care of yourself take care of people around you and most of all have a loving relationship with your dogs with good boundaries and routine and good leash walking see you soon